Immigrants across central Texas could readily qualify for the path to citizenship, but may not realize it. And many may need to clean up their background record before they try. KXA's David Scott has word of a first-ever outreach effort in Austin to find those eligible for citizenship and help them out. The Immigrant Services Network will screen for those best qualified for citizenship and gather them at an outreach event September 18th. There'll be plenty of help for those immigration hurdles. We also want to identify people who need help learning, learning to read or perhaps need help filing their taxes or correcting tax returns or perhaps need an attorney to go and, and clear up some legal issue, whether it be a family law issue or a criminal law issue. The system has plenty of hurdles. An applicant needs English skills, up-to-date child support or tax payments, a clean legal record, and no lies to the bureaucracy. That's important. If somebody immigrated through a fake marriage, you know, because maybe they divorced two days after they got, you know, their green card, or they took somebody who wasn't their wife with them to the interview and pretended, um, they're not going to get their citizenship. How many immigrants are in Austin who could readily qualify for citizenship? We don't really know. But there are estimates that across the state of Texas, there are more than one and a half million undocumented immigrants. Repeat after me. If you're here legally, it can take six to ten years to qualify for permanent residence or a green card, another three to five years to reach citizenship. But that green card may be the toughest step. Paul Parsons has been an immigration lawyer 32 years. That's the hardest part of all, is fitting into one of the peg holes and waiting on waiting list for years as a relative of a U.S. citizen or as a key employee of a company, it's very difficult to immigrate. If you're caught here illegally, you technically could be sent back to Mexico for 10 years, a prospect that prompts many immigrants to remain in the shadows. Parsons believes the red tape discourages folks from coming forward. We've made it so difficult for people to qualify that the vast majority of people from other countries cannot qualify for a work permit or permanent resident status. Details of the outreach are still being planned, but in September, screening applications will be at selected public libraries, on the ACC campus, and at immigrant nonprofit service centers. David Scott, KXAN, Austin News.